Hi everyone! Today I have a special story I'm gonna read for you about a birthday. It's Moomin's birthday button because today's a very special day. Sit Theo, sit! It's Theo's birthday! Theo's one year old today, huh? Theo, is it your birthday? I thought you friends could help me and we could sing to him happy birthday and then we can read the birthday story, okay? Look Theo, if you wait, let me light him a candle. Are you ready? Help me sing, okay friends? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Theo. Happy birthday to you. Come, Theo. Happy birthday, Theo. Look, Theo. You want a special treat? Come here. Give you a special treat. There you go, Theo. Happy birthday, Theo. Thanks for helping me sing, friends. I think that made it special for Theo. He's having his special birthday treat now, and we can listen to <gasps> Moomin and the birthday button. It's Moomin's birthday in this story. The moon faded, the sun rose, and morning came to Moomin Valley. Snug in his bed in the Moomin house, Moomin Troll woke up. He yawned once, he stretched twice, and then he remembered. <gasps> Pee-hoo, it's my birthday! Downstairs, Moom and Mama and Moom and Papa were having breakfast. They called out, happy birthday, Moom and Troll! There was a card from Moom and Papa with a birthday poem he'd written and a beautiful gold button from Moom and Mama for his collection. Oh, it's so perfect and shiny, said Moomin. I'm going to show Snuffkin right away. What a nice birthday morning. Snuffkin was down by the river. He was busy making something out of wood. Moomin called out, Snuffkin, look what I've got. But Snuffkin didn't even look up. I'll look later, he mumbled. I'm really terribly busy right now. Moomin Troll was surprised. I'll go show Snork Maiden instead, he thought. She won't be too busy. I wonder what Snuffkin's doing. On his way to find Snork Maiden, he bumped into Sniff, who seemed to be searching for something. Hello, Sniff, said Moomin. Look what I've got. But Sniff didn't look up either. Sorry, Moomin Troll, he said. Too busy, can't stop. How odd that Sniff is too busy too, thought Moomin. But I know Snork Maiden will like my button. And he hurried on his way. Look, none of his friends want to see his button. Oh no, Theo, do you think that makes him sad? Snork Maiden was at the beach collecting shells. She seemed to be having a lot of fun with little Mai, who was draping herself with seaweed. Snork Maiden, little Mai, look what I've got. But Snork Maiden didn't answer. She just went on looking for shells. There she is collecting shells. Little Mai danced about and shouted, we're very busy, Moomin Troll. Don't disturb us. Moomin couldn't believe his ears. Nobody wants to see my new button, he thought. And nobody has even said happy birthday. Do you think that makes him feel sad? He stomped back through the woods and by the time he reached home, he was nearly in tears. When Moom and Mama saw Moom and Troll, she knew at once that something was wrong. Nobody cares about my new button or my birthday, sniffed Moomin. They're all too busy, even Snork Maiden. Don't be sad, said Moom and Mama. I'm pretty sure they didn't mean to be unkind. Now let's get things ready for your birthday party. Oh, look, he's crying. His friends didn't say happy birthday to him and that made him sad. Moomin cheered up a little as he watched Moomin Mama decorate his birthday cake, but he was still cross. They're probably too busy to come, he said. I don't even care. But really, he did. Then all of a sudden, he heard voices calling him. Moomin Troll, come outside. Come and look what we've got. Oh, who is it? Who is it? Moomin 
troll rushed to the door, and there were all his friends, Snork Maiden, Sniff, Little Mayan Snufkin. Sniff was holding a present, which was very badly wrapped in seaweed. This is for you, he said, from all of us. Look, did his friends forget his birthday? No, they were busy making him a special surprise. Moomin could have burst with happiness. They hadn't forgotten his birthday after all. He unwrapped the present and inside was a beautiful wooden treasure chest decorated with pebbles and shells. Snufkin made it and I chose the shells, said Snork Maiden. The pebbles are my very favorite ones that I've ever found, said Sniff. I nearly kept them for myself. And I wrapped it, said Little Mai. The sun set, the moon rose, and night fell over Moomin Valley. Moomin Troll and his friends sang happy birthday songs and danced until they were all tired out and ready for bed. Look at his birthday party, they all came. Nighty night, my little Moomin Troll, said Moomin Mama. Night night, Mama, said Moomin. But before he closed his eyes, Moomin had one last peep at the shiny new button glinting in his very special treasure chest. Happy birthday, Moomin Troll, he whispered to himself and drifted off to sleep. The end. Okay, friends, I'm going to go and make Theo a special birthday dinner. Okay, but I hope everybody has a good day and has good dinner plans. See you later.